This week, Trump's on trial and there's a jury to be selected. As judges, we'll give you our professional opinions. Then, our case for today has to do with the new Fallout TV show. Did a girlfriend ruin it for her boyfriend? Stay tuned for our verdicts. What you are listening to is real. The parties involved are not cool. They are actual geeks with a case pending in the court of public opinion. The party's case has been dismissed, and the dispute will be settled here on our podcast. There will be no lawyers. There will be no witness testimony. The judge's decisions are final. Hello, I'm Judge Ivan. I'm Judge Jonathan, and this is Geeks on Trial. Today's case, Falling Out. Welcome to Geeks on Trial. This is the podcast where we settle petty disputes between actual geeks over movies, video games, board games, and more. If you'd like to submit your own geeky case for a future episode, you can email us at geeksontrial at gmail.com. You can also support the show over at patreon.com slash geeksontrial for just five bucks a month where you can gain early access to both our audio and video episodes, plus our bonus show, Geeks on Trial Side bar which to be honest is way better than the main show it is it's funnier this is this is the shit that we give to the pigs we the slop we pour in their trough hey okay calm down now (laughs) sidebar is ooh ooh caviar with gold flakes champagne it's the good shit so get on over there the baja blast yeah, if, if, if people, um, you know, it's good that we bring it, we remind people there is an audio and a video version of this show. There is? Yeah, so you can listen oh. to it or you can watch it. Uh, you, you you were commenting on my beard earlier before right. the show. Right, you And should... video, video viewers can look at my beard, which I feel like is unkempt and mangy. Well, you should bring your beard back in. I would love to talk to her. She is very busy. She has a high-paying job. <laughs> Being very important woman. A beard? Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, your beard. I, I, your beard's looking good. I've known you through many stages of hair, yeah, facial hair, head compliments. hair, no hair. You know, like at one point you shaved your eyebrows off. It was a weird time for you when you just went fully hairless, greased up. It's looking good. It's good. It's getting dark. It's getting. It's filling in. I like it. I did. I like that the mustache looks a little better right now. Right. But uh, I feel like from the side, it looks better on video. To be honest with you, some some there's there's a little patchy. But I'm okay with a little patchy. I don't. I mean, I don't really. I'm not going for the. I don't want like the full Russian ass beard. Oh well, you should shave that too. Your Russian. But ass. I don't really. I don't really know. Well, I don't from, really know what I'm doing. I'm just in, lazy. In person, <laughs> you, you sometimes just you look ill. I, I just yeah. assume you're sick. Yeah. Because of the patches, I assume you have a little something yeah. from, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But well, on camera, it looks of the, great. Of the bald head, you, it, right. most usually if you got a bald head, you mm-hmm. got to get a beard to balance it out. Or it's just like, it's confusing. Right. But it anyway. is weird. Okay. So let me ask you this question about. Uh, you had beard. more of a beard last week, too. Yes. And I, shaved, I today. shaved today because. So my, when I have facial hair, people are like, oh, you look upset. You look angry. I think the facial, <laughs> I think the facial hair uh, brings out my resting bitch face or bastard face um, Thank you. more, and like I look unhappy because you can't see my subtle smiles and my little little well, things. When you're clean shaven, you look like a sweet little cherub, a cherub, a cherub, a cherub. A cherub. Ah, fuck. <laughs> but it also like you know when I shave, it takes ten years off my face. Yeah, you look like a little. Younger. You do look like a little 12-year-old boy. <laughs> Thank you, you might well, I guess you haven't been into a bar in a long time, but no. I wonder if you get you would get carded. <laughs> Last time I bought even non-alcoholic alcohol, they carded me. And I'm like This is grape juice, yeah, my friends. You lose the hair, they don't they don't card well, you anymore. Let me that's, ask you this question. Not... Where do you know sure. where to stop? Like <laughs> like I all bald guys have a line. And it's like it's where does new... this is it like do you, every week? Do you well, like? Does it stop I go to growing the, at some point? I go to the ear. I go to the side, the sideburn. Okay. Also, okay. the glasses help because right. the frame sort of covers up if there's a little like that's the divide above also, the glasses. Clear. So we haven't talked about this. I've I've had new glasses the last few episodes. I've got my glasses back. Do you get the the permanent glasses frame when you take off your glasses? Like mm, use of an indentation. Sometimes right here? when they're especially mm. when they're new, they're still kind of tight. Yeah. This is the this is. This is a boring intro, I think. It is. But we're talking about your beard. <laughs> it looks okay. You know. It's, people you like see, this. This is the hygiene update. You seem to fill in a little bit. 
I know. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> well, just take some hair from another part of your body and just do right the there. best that I can over here. Let's. It's going to be summer now soon too. Right. So now it's like warm. You know, I, I might. I might need to lose it. We're talking this week not about beards. We're talking about we something a, with hair. We have a big talking. case later today, and then mm-hmm. before that, we're going to preempt it. We're talking about, as you were alluding to, the man himself, the big man upstairs, as I call him. The he big lives, man in the big chair. He lives in your building? <laughs> that special man in the sky. <laughs> God, I wish. Donald J. Trump? Is this J? Yeah, that's right. The J stands for J-A-Y, I believe, <laughs> like Homer Simpson. <laughs> uh, yes, so 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 Donald Trump is- No, is, not this week. Oh. This week, the J stands for jury. Go ahead. Oh. So Donald oh. Trump is uh, in, in court again because he's- um, uh, uh, people are finding out more things about him, and 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 because he's a trash man, so people are finding out things about him. And this time, the thing that's going to case is the whole Stormy Daniels case. I don't know much about it because I try to ignore everything in the news, um, especially when it comes to politics right now, because both sides aren't great, and uh, it's just uh, we live in a shit country. But <laughs> I do have a question. We are real judges. We have gavel. Well, I have one. You have a gavel. For audio, for audio listeners, we both have gavels. Okay. For, for video, for video listeners. Li- watchers, shh. <laughs> so, you know, this is a case, a story that came to mind because I have a question about his jury. Right now, they are trying to find Donald Trump's jury. And to make a jury, they're talking about it on the news. And it's rare that I actually watch televised news anymore. They were talking about. That they You're have a big Fox to. News guy. I love Fox News. I actually donate to Fox News and NPR just to equal it out. I like to give both ends, both sides money. It makes You're me centrist. feel better. It's, it, yeah. So they're trying to find people who are middle ground that will be a part of the jury. Somebody who is, you know, might not have a judgmental thing on either side. And I brought up in our in our in our meeting this morning that it's kind of hard to find somebody who's mid midway for Donald Trump, because I feel like a lot of people that I talk to, see online, do whatever, they're either, I love Donald Trump, or I hate Donald Trump. So it's, it's, it's a 50-50 thing that is like, we need to find something in the middle. So what, do you, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's, a, it's, an, it's an interesting, tricky subject. We are not normally political commentators on this show. I am. But as you said, we are judges. <laughs> right. So it is interesting to speculate on the world of non-geek-based judgery right. that exists outside the realm of this podcast. Well, somebody could geek out on this. This could be somebody's Yeah, thing. all lawyers are geeks. Right. Uh, so, you know, for listeners, I f- don't begrudge you if you're like, these two chuckle fucks don't know anything about the law. Why am I listening yeah. to them? But you can skip ahead. if you watch the TV news, neither did I. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. It's it's interesting. It's uh, from what I read. Apparently, they have an extensive questionnaire mm-hmm. that is that the that potential jurors have to fill out, including questions such as, how do you know do you support Trump right. like in an election or whatever, and how how do you? It does seem like an impossible task, right? Because Trump has already been the president once. He's obviously a very polarizing figure. Well, some people say still is. And even before, sure, <laughs> rightfully so. And even before he was president, he was a famous right. icon in culture. So how do you find people who are not biased in any way, one side or the other? I mean, I guess the maybe the real question is, how is that possible Ever. Right. Well, <laughs> but at, at least you can fake it better. In a, and like in other dropping cases. the fact that he is or was he was a president and that he has that much clout just brings celebrities into this. Anytime a celebrity goes to court, you're going to have somebody who is, oh, I'm team whoever. Kardashian. Oh, I hate team Kardashian. Like there, there are some who are like, oh, I could take him or leave him. But it's usually a very polarizing yes or no situation. And it's more so now with this election and even the previous election where people are like, there's literally two parties and there's you're on one side or you're on the other side. And the people that are in the middle who don't care generally just don't care. Like they don't. I guess that's who you want. 
give a crap or, about either side, which I guess you, you, yeah. Or you're looking for the elusive Kenneth Bone type. You remember right. Kenneth Bone? Was that the, the swing state guy? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, he, well, he was the guy in the red sweater Swingo. with and during the debates in 2016. 2016? Yeah, what year is it? I don't know. 2020 20, was the last one. 2016 was the last one. 2012? Right, twenty. I don't know uh, who who asked the question because he was not he wasn't sure who to vote for, and I feel like people kind of gave him shit because it's like how do you not know right. <laughs> who to vote for? But I think that's true. I mean, and if you're not if you're an independent voter, then probably you that means probably you don't like Trump. Like I feel like that's right. the default <laughs> state. Like if right. you don't support either of them, well then you'd also don't like Trump. But right. Yeah, it's hard. I don't know how they do it, but there must be, like you said, there must be some of those amongst the 8 million New Yorkers that they have to pick from. Right, because it has to be from New York State, right? Including New York City. So the entire New York general area. Yeah, there has to be somebody who is down the line, somebody who's like, you know, but then you have to go. 12 12 of them. (laughs) Oh, yeah, 12. Probably angry. 12 angry men or jurors. Yeah. yeah, but you know, so you have to like, like, will they like? They're going to do this questionnaire, which one of the questions is fill in the blank. Let's go. And if you don't know that, you're good. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it is. It's hard for such a political case. I honestly don't know. I feel like the, the potential. If I'm Trump's lawyer and he hasn't returned my calls, so that's right. not confirmed. I mean, you would probably be a better one than the ones he has. You all, or even, or from the other side too. You almost have an automatic out to like try to call for a mistrial if right. you th- if you think that because the likelihood is so high that somebody on that jury is biased in some way. But and you know it's going to happen. You know, he, you know, it's it's the answers are going to come in, and he's going to be you know put in jail for whatever, and he's going to be like, well, they were all against me. And then even if it's the opposite side, the other side's going to be like, well, they're all against. So they're going to, this jury is probably going to be the most high stakes jury that we've had in a very long time. It's funny. This reminds me of a sort of a gag in a recent episode of a TV show, but I won't mention it. <laughs> I won't say which one. I which, won't say it. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Now, if he it was, was Fox on News. trial. Oh, it was. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, just a, it's a weird thing because like anytime you bring some celebrity into it, be it the president of the United States, be it the Kardashian, Kim be it Kardashian. whatever. <laughs> like, what, they're going to also, what, check people's social, too, be, to be like, hey, you know, we've seen you bashing one side or the other, so you can't be on this trial. It's also hard because if it were, like, middle America, mm-hmm. I'd say, you know, you can find the the guy who just doesn't watch TV, doesn't keep up with the news. But New York, these are – this is the – like a political right. hub people here are mostly tuned in to what's going on in the world and mo- they're mostly on the liberal end of things well it too. depends if you go new york city is more mm. liberal upstate new sure. york depends on where you go can lean a little bit more towards the red i'm guessing <laughs> these are mostly people in new york city though right probably i mean i don't know how they choose because it, usually I like if it's know. like for new jersey they're pulling from new jersey any taxpayers but like you're right. right, because most of New York City probably leans more towards the liberal side of sure. this entire thing. So it will be difficult to, f- like, I, I don't, like, I'm sure it's one person's job to find these people. I don't want to be that person, because you know there's going to be, like, <laughs> death threats against said person. Or, like, bribery. Like, well, we like, won't know. Somebody. Right. They say that the names are going to be all kept secret. Right, until so, day of, or just in general, right? I think I think throughout the whole trial. I mean, I don't know if it gets out somewhere eventually, but <laughs> yeah. Well, there's also and, going to be there's it's it's a closed courtroom. There's no cameras, no video, no audio happening in the courtroom, which I think is good. I think you know that's fine. But you're right; it's going to it's just going to be like, or do you have what six hardcore Republicans, six hardcore liberals, and just have them fight? <laughs> then you just yeah, then it just doesn't get anywhere, right? Yeah, it's it's crazy. And though this is something that as we're recording and probably still when this episode is released, they are actively figuring out right now in real time. Like I as we're recording this, I can click on a website that's giving me live updates of what's going of who's on. Who's where and what's going on. Yeah. So it's possible that nothing has changed. It's also possible that they've decided a jury by the time this comes out. Mm-hmm. Who knows? I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but 
I feel like it's going it's to be interesting. Drawn out quite a bit. Now, do you think it's it, it has to be so much easier when it's just like a regular nobody in court? Because you just go through, make sure the person is not what I think they ask: Are you racist? Are you homophobic? Like, make sure they're not <laughs> basically an awful person. And like, oh, do you know them? That's it. Like, I'm sh- like, people get called in for jury duty a lot. Have you ever been called in for jury duty? I've never. Neither it's have I. Not happened to me. They don't. Kinda, they know who we are. They don't yeah, want it's it. True. <laughs> Look at us. We would show up like well, this with cameras. I would. <laughs> yeah. At this at this point, this I'm content. like, I'm in. I'm a practicing judge. I probably right. shouldn't be. You walk in with in your cavil. They're like, put him in the back of the truck. I have read the, uh, you know, like people's ways they get out of jury duty, and it's not hard. Like no. you can, you, all you have to do is say, I, I don't. I feel one way about this. That's for whatever reason, and they're like, all right, go home. Right. That's it. It's yeah. like, you you don't have to but try it, if you don't want to do it. But that makes sense though, because like you know, they don't, yeah, they don't want, want somebody either. who's. But I also kind of want to do it. I would love to do like a small, like I, I'm not actually working a real job right now, so it wouldn't be, you know, bad for me. It would just be entertaining, but I would also have like an anxiety attack because it would probably be like, oh, I'm in a murder case. You know, like it would be a big like, <laughs> or I, no, but, the, but in reality, it would be the opposite. It would just be so boring, I think. It would be, click the button, it, it, yes, no, okay, have a good day. Um, but or you or you have to sit there for four hours listening to testimony about like a a dispute over someone's lawn or something right. like it's yeah. uh, you know I don't know uh, which I don't know maybe stuff like that I don't as there's only certain levels that are like a jury actually gets involved right. I guess I don't know what do I know I'm not a fucking lawyer I'm a judge oh he's right we're above that <laughs> so yeah so it'll be an interesting story to come out and see who these because it will leak at some point who these people are going to be I'm gonna like, find out. They're not going. You, yeah, well, just go wait at the back door. They they have a have, jury entrance. I have a lot of contacts in the, in the dark web. Oh, and they're going to figure it out for me. Well, your father is Trump, so yes, I'll Eric. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> Uncle, good old Uncle Trump's on trial <laughs> Uncle this week. Uncle Trump. <laughs> Uncle Trump. Oh God. Can, Uncle Trump, can you tell me a bedtime story? You know that's his turn on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uncle Twomp, tell me about the time you fired someone. <laughs> you fired? I love the New York accent in that. Fired. That's my fear. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Well, we'll find out. So how about that for a dose of reality? I didn't People like People tuned into this show for, for a comedy, for laughs, for movie discussions. And, and what you got was Donald fucking Trump and juries. Got real. Got real out here. You can't escape it. What, you thought you could come here for a bit of escapism? No, 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 no. The real world is happening, bitch. Right. Or bastard. But let me know in the comments below. What is the actual word? Let's go. Who, let's go. Who? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go. Let's go home. Can I be a juror? <laughs> let's go. Uh, I mean, look, the Trump case is. I think it's birds. The Trump case is. <laughs> let's go birds. It's fine. Right. Yeah, it's it's like it's 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 interesting from a you know an intellectual perspective. It's right, but in reality, it doesn't hold nearly the same weight as the type of cases that we're evaluating right. here on a weekly basis. Have you ever bought a Trump case? Store your Trump stakes in them. That brings us to today's case, which comes to us from the internet. You can you find a link up. in our episode description. Our defendant today is Natalia. Natalia is a big fan of the Fallout video game series from Bethesda. And so, naturally, you might assume she's very excited to watch the new Fallout TV show on Amazon Prime Video, available now. She starts watching it with her boyfriend, Max, and that's where the trouble begins. You see, as the show goes on, Natalia starts speculating about what she thinks is going to happen in the show based on her experience playing the games. And turns out... Her speculation is spot on, as several of her predictions come true. And as a result, by the end of the show, Max says he doesn't want to watch the last two episodes with his girlfriend because she's ruining the experience for him by spoiling future events. He even accuses her of somehow looking up the plot in advance, but Natalia insists she did not have any future knowledge. As dual judges here on Geeks on Trial, it's now our job to determine whether Natalia should be rewarded for her keen judgment with a frothy Nuka-Cola 
or if she should be kicked out of the vault and left to wander the wasteland. That was good. I enjoyed that. I liked it. You, like, you liked it? I liked it a lot. <laughs> Did you like my gavel play? I liked your gavel play, which is a category on Pornhub. <laughs> <that> <laughs> <you> <laughs> <want> <laughs> <to> <laughs> <check> <laughs> no? Which end goes uh, in first? Anyway. So I do want to give a this little information. This is a topical one. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So um, I've um, never played any of these games. Hot off the presses. I I thought you had played a Fallout game. I played Fallout Shelter. <laughs> okay. So sure, sure, sure. <laughs> a game. So this is just like when we did our uh, anime case, and neither of us knew anything about the anime in right. question. So I know really... a, I know rough things about the the lore because it, it, Fallout is one of those things where it's like. It's a nerdy game, but it's 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 it's, it's a general public game. Like I would say, m- most people who know anything, most people who own a PlayStation or Xbox know what this is. You know, this is the kind of thing that they sell at Hot Topic. They sell the 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 guy at a lamp or a bobblehead at Hot Topic. Right. I even saw I went to Cracker Barrel not so long ago, and they were selling Nuka Cola. <laughs> so mm, if Cracker right, Barrel right. has it, they're gonna you know. It's mainstream right. enough. It, it has permeated the mainstream. Certainly now that there's a show, which uh, by all accounts I think has been successful. I don't know if does Amazon release numbers like none of the other streamers do. I don't. I'm really assuming know how, it is. How you know? I don't know. But I, I, I'm pretty sure it's gotten out into the public consciousness. People know about it. Can you on Amazon? Because I have Prime, but it's it's rare that I am on it on a PC or anything. Can you rate it like you do an Amazon product? Like can you add your star rating? I think you can. Because that would make sense because a purchasable kind of product. Yeah, I think you can. Hmm. Yeah. But I haven't looked in a while, so I could be wrong. Because <laughs> I use like a, I have a smart TV, so I just go through like that, and you can't really see well, things as easy. All these as... stupid streaming services have a different interface on every <laughs> single what, device. Ne- Netflix has like a double thumbs up now or something like that. And I'm like, no. Get out of here. What are we, Siskel and Ebert? Yes. Uh, so I have played a little more fallout than you i've i played some of fallout 3 which okay. is certainly more like a real fallout game whereas shelter is a spin-off right right it's more like i, I haven't played shelter but I, the, it's more like a sim so, shelter kind of is a, a, a clicky cell phone game right like you can play uh, it on everything like i think you could play it on like some of the smart refrigerators now but like you know you can <laughs> it, it's basically like a come back in 20 minutes and see what happens like it's a little bit more right detailed than that but it's basically that kind of thing uh but so uh, other than some fallout 3 experience like back in the day you mm-hmm. know that game came out a while ago it's not a series that i got super deep into right. uh for whatever reason bethesda rpgs have never quite grabbed me the way they do other people mm-hmm. uh I tr- i've tried what are other will s- Games that they well, make that are uh, um, Skyrim, Elder, Elder oh, Scrolls. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Those, those are the other big ones that they do. But I will say, I have start. I've watched now the first four episodes of the Fallout show. Okay. I really like it. I think it's really good. It's got a lot of great actors on it, and and watching it, I, I have enough experience with the games to at least generally feel like, oh, I. I see the vibe. I remember right. doing similar stuff to this in the game. I kind of, I know what they're going for, even if I don't remember specifically the details that a big Fallout fan would. Now, and is this showing, like, is this a, is this it's show an original going to be the, story. Okay, so it's not it's, like taking it from one game or another, it's taking it from the franchise as a whole. Correct. It's Okay. Uh, now, there, there might be, don't quote me on this, there might be, like, a character that they took or a story that they took that was right. inspired by a specific character from a okay. story in the game. But, uh, and, and like they're, but it's mostly the world, the setting, the, like the factions, the, right. all that stuff exists, but it's, it's as if this were a new fallout video game, just being told in a TV show format. I, so I like the term, like loosely based on, or do you think it's more than loosely? Like I said, I don't know. I'm trying to think of another of a of an example because it's not like the Last of Us TV show, which is just okay. straight up the Last of Us game adapted. Okay. Right. It's I don't know. I mean, maybe the Mario movie is. I almost... was just honestly, I was thinking about that too. So it's it's like you know we're using this world, we're using the the yeah. the facts. So we have a show bible, or I guess a game bible that we're going by, but we're kind of making up our own thing as we go along, not necessarily taking 
a, a you know what? physical story from the show. Actually, I think a, a, a better example is the Dungeons and Dragons movie that came out. Okay. It's not like they took a spe- a real like a character from Dungeons and Dragons lore, right. but it was it took place in the universe of that world. Okay. Which 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 is befitting for an RPG that's open ended. It's not like you know there's not a Gordon Freeman or a or a Mario in right. Fallout. It's it's you are who you are. You, you make, make your, your own, own character. character, right? Yeah. So or like a Grand sense. Theft Auto or anything like that, where it's like you're playing this character in this world, right? Okay. But anyway, watching the show has actually made me want to g- give the games another shot because I'm I, I remembered what I do like about the games, which is the world and the storytelling and all this stuff. And I was like, now oh, is maybe it I should give another try. Open it's world. Fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now what I'm trying to figure out what year the At first the game modern, came out. Yeah, there's the older 2D ones, which are right. top down ones, which I also have. Because they were free at some point. <laughs> okay. You could just, like, grab those for super cheap. I'm guessing the uh, first game is just Fallout 1? It's just Fallout. Yeah. Okay. Fallout, so, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, and then guess what? Fallout 4. Fallout 4? Okay. 1997. That's Yeah, it it's an old. That's old. Yeah. So I didn't realize, because uh, we we do play a, a, a game, I forget what it's called. Guess the, guess the Game, right? Is that what it's called? <laughs> Oh, you're right. The everyday, the website where they show you pictures of video games, you have to try to guess what it is. Yeah, yeah Where yeah. one of the, I think it was, might have been the first Fallout game was one of the games. And I just had no idea because it looked like every game of that era. You know, I didn't, so my brain, I, I don't think Fallout got really into the public eye until maybe the 2000, maybe mid 2000s. It was like, three. Three was the one that was the, the breakout big, for right. sure. Yeah. Uh, one and two were much more. And you can see why if you if you play them or look at them, they're you know Fallout Three is like a first person shooter, and the other ones are old school role playing right. games that are punishing and weird. Well, <laughs> and it's, it's like you know, hate to bring it back to Grand Theft Auto, but like Grand Theft Auto One and Two, completely different game than Three. That's true. It's an interesting parallel, honestly. It's true. Yeah, weird. What would be a Grand Theft Auto movie? I th- feel like it's just any movie out there right now. They they were gonna make one at one point in the two thousands, and it like didn't happen. And suppose supposedly Eminem was in talks to star in the movie. This is true. You but I feel like up. that would just be like you can put any street movie out there and be like, oh, it's Fast and Furious. Just you know, make it maybe not Fast and Furious, but you know, just yeah. make it like anything. It could be just skin it, and it's Grand Theft Auto. You would have to have like the specific characters or you know they go to whatever the taco bell or the chicken yeah. places and they get like that <laughs> right. kind of thing i could see but... different approaches to it but we're not talking about grand theft auto here oh we're talking about fallout so we've established our fallout credentials which are minimum no, okay. <laughs> not a lot Nat- natalia big fallout credentials now i'm not totally sure she says that she has talked to her boyfriend about fallout a lot it doesn't sound like he is – maybe he's dabbled in the games. Right. I don't think he is as big a fan as her. Right. Have well, it you... seems like – go ahead. Now, what are you going to say? It seems like <laughs> like she's the super fan. He's like, oh, I've, I've, I've played with a game. Normal, normal nerd playing the game versus super nerd. He did say he's excited for the show also. Right. But, like, I was excited for the show because I was excited for the actors and the writers right. and stuff. Aside from the video game, so so we're not so who knows, but certainly yeah, less than her. I was going to ask, have you ever been in a situation where you watched a show or a movie with someone where you knew the source material and they didn't, hmm. and you and hmm. like like I'm trying to, is yes. that something you ever experienced? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah well, yeah. I've also experienced the other side too because my, my mm-hmm. fiance is a massive Trekkie, right? Like he been lives, breathes. <laughs> Star Trek. He wears a com badge everywhere he goes. His first tattoo that he wants to get will be just a com badge, so it's always on. When he turns 18, right? Right, yeah. He's very young. So, <laughs> he's born in leap years, so he's actually 40. Uh, uh, and it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, math, hold on. So, you know, like, I've dealt with this on that side to where it's like, you know, you're sitting there and the person's watching you watch it. Or they're like, you know, kind of not quoting it, but not like... Like, they can tell when something's coming up. Like, he can watch Star Trek from a computer and just look up at the parts he knows are good. <laughs> well, did you watch the new... Have you watched new Star Trek together? Yes. Like, okay, so that I feel like that's probably the closest analog where it's, it's like, called, neither of you have seen it before. It's called New Trek? He, 
excuse me, new trick. Thanks. Neither of you have seen it before, but he and he doesn't know what's going to happen either. But he right. pro- he can kind of be like, oh, I know that character. I know right. mo- when, when Mud shows up, <laughs> you're in for right. a bad time or whatever. Right. Which is funny <laughs> watching. Uh, I forgot which one where Mud came up because Mud was played by Rain Wilson. Yeah, in so early here's, in discovery. Yeah, here's Danny going. Well, that's not. That's not what he was like. That's not how he should be played. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, because you know you couldn't do certain things on TV back then that you could do now. You know, like you know, one's a comedian, one's. So you know, have what? you been? Did you say you have been on the other side too? Or you yes. Couldn't? So like I've watched things like you know I'll introduce. I'm more of a movie watcher than my partner is, or more you know. So it's like there are certain movies like. An example of one of my favorite cheesy comedy movies is Kung Pao Enter the Fist. We all love it. I'll watch it and like I'll do like the stupid like when the babies or chosen ones roll, falling down the hill and you go bye bye and you roll it down the hill. I'll do that. No and Rocky Horror just, Picture Show. Right, and he'll just look at me. But I won't do what the the, the defendant. Natasha the defe- Natalia the defe- is doing in this episode. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, the defe- Antifa. I won't do what she do does. I won't be like, oh, let's let's see what that think. What, what do we think this movie is going to be? That's hold that thought. Yeah, put a pin oh. in that. Okay. Thank you. Just just hold it nice and firm like that. My glasses are steaming up. Oh damn! Yeah, I, I'm trying to. Th- I know I've seen. I'm sure I've seen plenty of movies where, like, I knew. Like I'm trying, it's hard to think of an example of this because, it, like, the most recent one I can think of is Last of Us, which again right. is similar, but it's also there's a clear defining point where if I were to watch The Last of Us with someone who hadn't seen the had played the game, right, and I were like, oh, I see where this is headed. It's like, yeah, because it's the same story. <laughs> of course, you see where right. it's headed. You literally know what happened, but in this case, she doesn't exactly know what happened, but it's kind of like. I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a broad. It's like watching the Mario movie and being like, "I bet Peach is going to get kidnapped." Right. Actually, doesn't actually well, doesn't happen. But it's like a thing. In like, a, like if you go to the movies with somebody and you're sitting there in your in a cinema, like an actual movie theater, and there's always that yeah. one person who is like, and there's some movies that do this where it's like you watch an M Night Shyamalan movie, for example, and you're sitting there going, "I know it's going to happen." You never want to be that person that leans over and goes. So and so is going to die, and and this is going to happen. <laughs> this whole thing was a dream, you know. Like, well, let's yeah, let's remove it from the, the movie theater because I feel like that's. I mean, obviously, we're both opposed to talking during the movie right. theater experience in but, general. Just talking. Yeah, yeah, in general, a TV show, and now, and Natalia says also that she has limited her talking to commercial breaks or like. She she insists that she is not going over the line talking so much over like that's not the problem here. Well, the first issue is where are you watching this with commercial breaks? I believe Amazon Prime Video. They have commercial breaks. Yeah, didn't we just talk about this a week well, or two ago? Amazon. Had, I know they had pre roll. I didn't know they had mid roll. I think they have now. They have recently made it so that you need to pay a higher tier if you don't want ads. Oh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's why. That's why. Well, that's not why. It's it was it was another reason I was glad I stopped paying for Amazon right. Prime. Uh, I mean, uh, I watched. I mean, I do pay for it because right. I watched Fallout. Right. So and I you, do yeah. pay for uh-huh. it. Uh huh. So yeah. So uh, if I would be I will, upset. Like... I will, no, I'm gonna. I just. I just want to say I do. Uh, I did. Uh, uh, I watched it at a friend's house. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you do. It actually is jarring because noticing in Fallout specifically, it's the first time I've noticed it at least on an Amazon show, there are clear, like, you know, Uh the screen goes to black. Fade in, fade out. Where I'm used to now, streaming shows just are continuous. They don't do that. And, And all of a sudden it's like, oh... That's a commercial break. It's like it's watching weird. a DVD of like an old show from the the nineties. <laughs> yeah, and it's like yeah. the Cheers logo pops up and then comes right back, like that kind of bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like it's not done in a way that's bad or anything. But you but can it tell. Is just like, oh, I didn't like. I forgot what that's like right. yeah. <laughs> to experience that. <laughs> anyway, now, but I, I do get where you're coming from. Like, you know, you, you, let's say watch episode one through two. Then it's like, okay, let's go to bed. And we'll watch the rest tomorrow. It would be so, I would be so upset if like, you know, me and my partner, the, the two of them are laying in bed 
And it's like, you're talking about, so what do you think's next? Like, there's some things that you can do, like, hey, what do you think so-and-so is going to do? And it's like, oh, I don't know, we'll have to see. Like, try, like, at that point, just go watch the show. Like, <laughs> so, there's yeah. some, there's some, like, you know, trying to figure it out. But for me, trying to figure it out, it's just like, don't do that, because then you're you're either going to build yourself up, and you're going to be disappointed about what's going to happen, or you're going to be right, and then you're going to be like, oh, I called that out. I knew that was going to happen. Like, it's going to be one of those two things. So, like, when I watch a show, a movie, um, anything like that, I try to, like, not think like that in my brain, which is difficult, but it's like, you know, you self-train over the years. It's like Unless it's, like, a really poorly done TV show or a really poorly done movie to where you can be like, no, that shit's going to happen. The killer's behind you. Like, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, I, so it's like I'm very you, much you on your side. Stop. Yeah, I, I am to the as as is known. I'm a spoiler phobe. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't watch trailers, uh, stuff like that. But for TV shows specifically, I have in the past done online communities where if a show is airing week to week, mm-hmm. sometimes it's fun to check in week right. to week and be like, oh, what's everyone think? What did everyone think of the last episode? And mm-hmm. where do you think it's going to happen next week? But for certain shows, I had to stop doing it. Right. Because especially with Reddit, that's a that's a big problem, is when you have, when you have 15,000 nerds all gathered in one place, mm-hmm. one of them's going to figure out what's going to happen. <laughs> like, right. you can't, they're going to get it right. And well, I and that's always... the thing, too, with, like, internet, like, um, predictions and stuff like that, where it's like, oh, we might have some information for you, but we don't. Like, it, like that kind of thing of, like, <laughs> you know, just telling the the details that you don't want to hear. It just sucks to – you you kind of framed it a similar way, but, like, the two – there's two outcomes. Either the you build up in your mind, oh, this thing is going to happen, and then right. when it doesn't happen, you're disappointed because – you almost convinced yourself that was the best outcome. Right. It's like, that's what made the most sense. Why didn't they do what I did? Right. Or they do exactly what you thought <laughs> or close to it. And now you're disappointed the other way because, well, I just figured it out. Like, where's the surprise in that? Right. That's no fun. So I, that speculation, especially for certain types of shows like, Lost is a, is a great example, hmm. although this, this isn't one that I really experienced it with. I'm trying to think of a recent example, maybe like, um, I don't know, like like Better Call Saul or something, right. <laughs> where I, I didn't want to, I'm not over here trying to analyze every facet of the show right. so I can figure out what's going to happen by the end of it. I, like you, want to be surprised. I turn my brain off. Now, is it different if it's a specifically – because some shows are literal mystery shows like or murder mystery mm, shows. Right. And sometimes they almost – it feels like they kind of want the audience right. to try to to try to play along. <laughs> so I have a fun, fun story about this. We all know the show that's been on for about 300 years, Law & Order. Yeah, I okay. do know that show. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's it's a mur- basically a murder mystery show. Something happened. They show you in the beginning. Something happened. You don't know who did it. You have to go through the whole thing and find out. Who's- so we're at my fiance's uh, grandmother's house, and we were sitting at the table watching Law and Order. And they did the opening. They didn't show who did it. And they're like, oh, I wonder who did it. You know, they written a little bit better than that. And <laughs> Danny goes to his grandmother because she's like, oh, who did it? Because she, you know, she was seventy something. She falls in, and she, he goes, oh, the killer did it. And she got upset. <laughs> She's like, How, "What the kill? Why? Why would you?" And he goes, "It's always the killer. Every week, it's the killer who did it." Like he was just doing it as like a, not even thinking that this would be the outcome. But yeah, wait, but she was mad because he spoiled it for her, or yeah. because yeah, <laughs> the killer did it. It's the killer every time. Law and Order. It's the killer every episode. <laughs> it's always in the last place you look. Sure. Is what that is. But yeah, that was, yeah. So that's, that's like a, a, a roundabout way of that. But yeah, but I, I agree with you, you know, like, sure, if the show is poorly written and it's like they're just handing it to you, that'll just be a sign of a bad show, in my opinion. Well, sometimes, I do think there's a middle ground. Sometimes a show drops clues on purpose. Right. And it wants you to pick up on a clue. There, there's a fine line between being too obvious and you also, but you also don't want it to come out of nowhere and there was right. no... Unless they're doing like a red herring and they're just giving you a different, you know, it's like they're screwing with you. 
Yeah, it's a, it's. I mean, it's a challenging thing to to write that way. I think, but yeah, ideally you want that. But I, yeah, I do. Sometimes, like, I want a little bit. It's tr- challenging. Sometimes I do like a little bit of back and forth. Of oh, what do you think? You think that guy? Uh, See, but I don't. I don't really like the leaps to. Like, it's just only so much can I endure. Well, okay, <laughs> and this is a different thing nowadays versus back in the day when I, you know, so back in the day for the people who weren't around for that or watching TV, episodes of TV used to be 28 seasons long. 28 you, episodes long. There you go. That's right. Like, <laughs> and, this is a long episode. <laughs> <laughs> it was one episode a year. It was very long. <laughs> And so, like, you could talk more about it, and you could, and, you know, you, you had to kind of have the water cooler talk and, mm. and shoot the shit about this show, but now when a show is eight episodes long, mm. just kind of, like, save it for the end. Mm. Now, what do you think about... Go ahead. Uh, just to add to that, it's also, you didn't have the internet... Right. You also you also didn't have you couldn't rewatch episodes. <laughs> well, but so, think about like, it when we did have the internet for like a show. Let's say for example, like um, uh, not this, not I was thinking of The Simpsons, but that's not really a show like X that. X Files, like, X Files, or something where there was the internet towards the end of our lifespan, or um, even our, like a the rest, end of our lifespan, <laughs> the end of our lifespan, or even like a show like Arrested Development or something like, or even Lost. Lost was one of those shows where mm. the internet was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up yeah, and around. It was definitely around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, there was this kind of stuff going on like that. So, like, there was the internet going on in shows like that. But you're right. You did have to watch where you clicked. Because, like, that was, was almost people... the beginning of it. Yeah. Because there were Battle people Battlestar Galactica. There. Well, Battlestar was one of those rare shows that Same had an issue that was filmed. They had to skip their opening. <laughs> because you would know. <laughs> because the opening spoiled the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we've talked about that before. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in this case specifically, it almost, you could almost argue it's like a throwback to the simpler times because we are right. just talking about two people in a room speculating. Right. This isn't, if, uh, if we are to believe the, the facts of the case, this is not a case of Natalia having read something online. Right. She is just going, well, I know how stories operate and I right. know... And I've played the game, and maybe, you know, part of the fun for her, it seems, is to go, oh, this is just like the vault in that one game. I bet that vault did this kind of shit. Right. <laughs> yeah, so is that Which crossing Which is, like, line? that could be fun if it's, like, something that wouldn't ruin said show. Like, if it's just like, huh. There's a blue book there. There's a blue book in the other episode, in the other, in the video games. I wonder if that blue book will do what it did in the video games. Yeah, it's it's a hard lot because as long as it's something that is very shallow, like, oh, I noticed that I'm just going to throw a name. Jim was in this. He was in the video game, too. I wonder if they're going to do the same character development that they did in the game or you know, like stuff like that. Sure, because, you know, as part of, you know, watching a show with somebody else, like you said, you want to have that back and forth to an extent. You don't want to be like. Oh, the end of the season is probably going to end up with so and so being dead, or whatever. This monster, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I do feel like the, the, there's a line you don't want to cross, and and right. probably Natalia should at some point figure out. If you're thinking it in your head, mm-hmm. you have to kind of almost give yourself a make it pass through another gate before you say it out loud. Right. Of like, you do your now, your filter. Is this something, yeah, that's what it's called. Is this something that I think is just a fun, oh, maybe this will happen? Or is it mm-hmm. like, oh, this? there's like a good chance this actually will happen. Right. And I'm potentially actually saying something that will ruin the surprise of it. But well, it's hard because, again, the show is not based on a specific storyline. Right. So, you know, Natalia might, according to her, she genuinely doesn't know. Right. She's just trying to guess. But I can see, like, if it's... It's such a short thing, and they're probably going to pump this out in, like, two days, the, the couple watching the show, if they're yeah. watching it episode by episode. Um, just shut up. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, It's not like it's it's. it's Women going should to take, talk less. Well, I didn't. Well, I didn't. You know, it's not going to be over a year. You know, like, like what, she reminds me of the kind of person who, like, midway through the movie, to, like, pause the movie, get up to go to the bathroom, and then have the discussion. About this, mm, mm, people mm. treat TV shows differently than they do movies, 
yeah, yeah. And that kind of like is weird to me. Because like, just think mm. of it as it's an eight hour long movie mm. and just wait. It does. It's it does seem like it's worse to me if it's a movie. Right. Oh, OK. But you you think it's this it's this should be the same. It's roughly the same. Like you can have some conversations like, oh, what did you think? Oh, did you think it was cool? like like I was saying, shallow leveled conversations, not like let's try to figure out what this show is going to be. Because in my opinion, she's the kind of person that would get kicked off of a message board. <laughs> Because if you go in, I think it's going to be, this is a, you should have to, if you have to spoil it online, you have to spoil Mm. it in your real life. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. For some reason, there's something in my brain where a movie is like a more sacred experience, maybe because Hmm. of the theater, like has, has trained me to be quiet. Or I think also because it's like, look, there's only two hours of this. Right. So it's like respect those two hours versus uh, like I've been accustomed to ah, I'm at home. I'm not saying I want you to like talk a lot or anything, right. but it's like, I might be getting up for a snack. I might go to the bathroom. The, it might not be an episode again until next week. So I'm waiting. It because, does feel yeah. different to me, but I see because where you're coming shows from. are built with filler, you know, mm. less so now I would yeah. say than even like 10 years ago, but yeah, they are meant to have some filler to stretch things over, X amount of time. Now, in your opinion, what would be too much to say for a thing like like if you're watching if you and I are on a couch watching the show, what would be like too much to say? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to uh you know, I don't want to give an example that's actually spoilery, but yeah, if if you're yeah, I don't know. It's really hard. Like for I think the line is very personal. I think it really depends right. on who you're with and how they feel about it. But yeah, somebody should say, it, it, like, if you're... So, like, for know, me, like, I'm babbling, you know, I'm babbling. I'm more of a person to be like, after a show is done, or even a movie, oh, wasn't this, this, and this cool? What did you think of this, this, and this? My brain never goes to the place of, oh, I wonder what's going to happen next, unless it's, like, a cliffhanger, like mm. a very strong, like, to-be-continued episode. But, like, even that's rare where I'm like, uh, but I'll also just think that. I'll just be like, huh, I wonder what's going to happen. Yeah. End of end of line. Or I want to psych myself up so much that I'm just going to watch it and not sleep that night. <laughs> yeah. I, it's like we said before. I think you and I might be, I don't know about unique, but uh, right. a, a diff- there's a different type of person who right. feels the other way. But, yeah, I I have almost trained myself. I purposefully, subconsciously don't think about those right. things because I don't want to spoil. I don't want to figure it out. <laughs> right. I want the TV show to unveil it for me. Well, and that's why like for me to bring it back to movies, like horror movies to me are kind of ruins because of my, like my, tr- my schooling, my training of like film theory and film stuff where it's like, you know, I could, Oh, the music's changing. I can see somebody coming up the stairs. It's going to scare me in a minute. Like, well, Nat- you know, Natalia so it's like says you have to turn that, that off. Natalia says she is an amateur writer. And that part of this is like, but I think this could be true of anyone who watches a lot of movies or TV shows. This is true of, you know, every movie and TV show. There's usually certain beats where you're like, right. this is I can happen. tell this is when the couple breaks up and then they're going to get right. back together. Like, you now, kind of figure that out. Saying that she's an amateur writer or whatever can get annoying, I'm sure, for her partner because I'm sure this isn't the first time she's done this. Or the conversation of, well, if I were to write this or if I were to film this, I would do X, Y, Are you and Z. S- speaking from personal experience <laughs> no. on behalf of your partner? <laughs> no. But like, oh, okay. for, but like, you know, like it's rare, like, cause it's like, it's rare that I'll say that stuff out loud. For me, when it's like filmmaking, I'll be like, oh, you want to know how they did that? Or that effect is done this way. And mm. like, sometimes he'll be like, I don't want to know how the sausage is made. Different from writing though. Different right. from. Because I won't know, do the story, story aspect. I'll be like, oh, they, it looks like they used X, Y, and Z lens on this thing. And he'll be like, okay. Yeah, yeah, I like to analyze after the fact and then not so much during. Right. But like yeah. but you and I like we've watched shows together and talked and it's usually like, "Oh, wasn't it cool when X Y and Z happens?" Like it's that kind of stuff. More so of like um a rehashing of what happened than a future telling. Yeah. Unless like I feel like certain shows like a, like a Lost again is a very that's a show that's all about 
oh, yeah. what the hell's going to happen next. Right. So now, it's a little bit different. What do we think about the husband's partner, boyfriend, whatever, being like Daughter. punishing and being like, "You're, I'm going to the other room. Leave me be. I, like, I don't, I get it. Me too. But like, shouldn't he be like, <laughs> not try to change her, but like, hey, maybe chill, chill down. Chill I out. think I think the question is why didn't he raise this objection earlier? Right. In episode four, when presumably some of her predictions came true already, why didn't he say, "Hey, do me a favor and stop"? Right. Doing that. Like it's it's a basic thing of being like, "Hey, can you?" It's it's annoying. Can you cut the shit? <laughs> it's also, I do like it. Can be. It feels like a silly thing. But, you know, we've brought up couples and shared TV shows before on this show. Right. And it can, you know, once you watch those two episodes alone, it can't be undone. There's, oh, right. You, you, you can't go back and say you're sorry and now let's watch them together. Like, you've made that choice. You've done it. And well, but I feel like he's watching it at the exact same time in the living room as she's watching <laughs> it in the bedroom. Maybe. But still, but still, you have... You've you've made a divide. You've said right. like we this, this experience this is, no longer, is no it's not us anymore. Yeah, I'm watching the show right. And at that point, like, which is can be hurtful. That's right. rough. That's and harsh. how often does this happen to like where you maybe need to either like you know have a conversation about this or be like maybe we'll break up over our TV watch. <laughs> like, but why can't he just say just don't talk during the last two episodes? Right. Like, is why this is, like an it, he doesn't like, trust an, her? <laughs> is there an issue that we, she was like, oh, I'm just not, I'm just going to keep talking. I, I don't stop this. This is like a, you know. Or it's, I, it sounds like he's just, you know, he's kept it inside and finally he's reached a tipping point and he's like, I'm, I'm mad. Which also sounds like it sucks because he's probably not enjoying these episodes as much if he's in a bad headspace. Well, also, it's like, is it happening? Like, I don't know the full details. Like, are they watching the show? The show's on and she's sitting next to him, like, talking about what's going to happen, like, as it's live? She says, like I said, she says commercial breaks and, uh, right. like, you know, she might throw out a comment, like, here and there, but sparingly. Right. That's what she says. Because, yeah, that, that for me would be, like, the deal breaker. Like, when I'm watching a show, it's like, I don't want talking. I don't want, you know, more so a movie. I, I'm, I'm more of, a, like, a, depending on them, like, a comedy or whatever, you can kind of get away with it or a horror movie. But, like, I don't want talking during certain things. Verdict? Yes. It sounds like you got one. Um, so, yeah. So, Natasha, Natalia, N N N Nate, Natalia. Dally, <laughs> Nate. Um, Antifa. <laughs> oh, it's my Antifa. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of things that you are doing wrong, in my opinion. You know, maybe keep a, keep a, a journal. Post this stuff online. And then talk to your partner. At, or save it for the end of the show. When you guys can have an open conversation about, hey, may, what's going to happen next season? Because that's an, a long enough thing to where you can be like, you know, there's going to be something going on. There's some time in between, maybe a year or so, that you might forget about this. But going from episode to episode or like from commercial break to commercial break, that's a little bit too much, in my opinion, to be talking about what could happen. Because now you are all up in his head and, like, now he can only think of, huh, well, she might be right. This could happen. Well, why why did she think this? I thought of a different thing. So, like, I, I do think that she is 110% very guilty. I gaveled for you. Thank you. <laughs> but, like, very guilty of just, like, and it's kind of like she's being selfish. Very guilty. She's she's being selfish of, like, her, like, oh, I can't, it, it, it's brain to mouth. Like, she can't stop. Where's the your flow. mouth? <laughs> you, went, you went a little low with that. <laughs> brain to well, mouth. Well, <laughs> brain to mouth. Um, the penis. Uh, I, okay, come on. What? I am. I do. I'm, I don't think I'm quite as negative on Natalia. I think that it, this is tricky for me because I think that her comments come from a place of simply wanting to share her thoughts with her partner. Right. And I think that for, for her, that is, you might say, her love language. That's that's how she's enjoying this show. That's fun for her, and she wants to share that with him. Um, so I don't I don't begrudge her for wanting to do that. Right. At the same time, and I and I also think that um, that Max 
doesn't handle it in a great way and could have just been more communicative and probably, as usual, could have avoided a lot of this situation in the end. But I do think that what she's doing is annoying. Mm -hmm. Now, again, if it, and if it were spoilers, if she were outright spoiling it intentionally, obviously, that's there's no gray area right. at all. Well, that's, that's grounds for dismissal wrong. in a relationship. That's pack your shit. <laughs> that's we're right. done. That's death sentence, no question. Mm -hmm. And she's not doing that. So I'm like, I, I the question for me is, do I judge more the action or the intent? Because I think mm. her heart is in the right place, but I don't agree. If it were me, if I were in Max's shoes, I would also be irritated and I wouldn't like this behavior. Uh, now, not to sway you one way or the other, but I've I've had this, you know, I, I know you. I've known you for at least 75 years. Me? You. I know you. Moi? And I feel like you would just be, you would be pissed. You <laughs> but would I wouldn't like, say anything. I would I would be like Max. I'd keep it deep inside. Or you would just be like, we're, okay, we're not watching this anymore. <laughs> or like wouldn't respond to a text. Or, like, you know, like, like that kind Maybe. of like, you know. Maybe. It's hard or to like, say. Or you would wait for your partner to go to bed and just finish the show and lie. <laughs> but you would have to, like, uh, anyway. Please, let me finish. Okay. So I'm I'm a little bit split on this one, more so than you are. But I think the, the most positive way to move forward mm -hmm. and the best way to avoid these kinds of situations in the future is to teach Natalia that this behavior is wrong <laughs> and if a squirt bottle <laughs> and if we declared her innocent then she would not learn a lesson from this and this behavior might continue in the future so I do think for her own good and the good of those around her it is best to say that she is guilty so I I wouldn't go 110 percent but I would concur on on the guilt in the end so what would you say you know so just if you were him just be like, hey, can you stop? I'm trying to enjoy the show. I mean, you know, nice I mean, that would be the healthy. That's the way to do it. That is right. Or right. or even especially after her predictions come true, you go, right. hey, it turns out you were right. So, like, maybe just since you kind of know a lot, just don't do it. Well, and also, <laughs> like, I do kind of get the the not know it all syndrome. But, like, I feel like, oh, well, you get it right the first time. Well, I'm going to try to do it more. And it becomes a game of the back and forth. And, like, I can see where, like, you know, he's sitting there going, oh, yeah, 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 okay. And I where just think this, be is, like, this is an annoying. issue of cross wires because I'm sure there are some couples and some friend groups where they get together and watch a show every week. And that's what they love to do. Well, and it's a book club. Yeah, kind of, yeah, it could be, or or I'm I'm just thinking about like a, some gals watching Sex in the City or something, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> or Gossip Girl, whatever they watch, or guys, Gossip Guy, like for for certain people, there's nothing wrong with this behavior at right. all, and that that's why I'm like it's, I can't be feel too right. mad at her because I I don't she's not trying to ruin the show. Well, let me ask you this: how because like a lot of times talking about shows and stuff, even online, it's in my opinion, it's rarely people trying to guess what's going to happen next in an open forum, where it's people just talking about past stuff they have seen or, you know, different character set up or different stuff like that. It's rare to me that I've ever seen somebody be like, oh, I, I know what's going to happen. I Next episode, this mm -hmm. is going to happen. The, there's no more Fallout. Fallout's gone. <laughs> it might depend on the show. I do feel like... If you go on the Reddits for another good example of this would be Westworld. Okay. Uh, you're, I think you're, or Game of Thrones was mm. a big one. Any of those kinds of shows, like, you're going to see Westworld mostly. That show, like, invited mystery hunters actually pissed me off <laughs> a lot of the time. But, see, good. <laughs> but yeah, I do, I do, I think it's out there. I think okay. it's fairly prevalent if you look in the right spaces because i just feel like that's just not who i am like i'll guess it but like go to this tv show subreddit you'll oh like, yeah i've i've been banned right yeah you'll <laughs> you'll see if you go to the episode discussion for that week or whatever right you're definitely gonna see speculation hmm. um, but like we said there's a time and place for it. like if there's a, a sticky topic that's like you know pinned whatever topic where it's like hey 
let's guess about next week. There's a time and a place for it. If right. your if your partner, your friend, your whatever didn't invite this, <laughs> or again, if you're watching like Twin Peaks or something where it's right. like there's clearly there's a singular mystery of right. the whole show. Don't. There's a little more leeway where it's like I get why you would want to speculate because the show that's what the show is about. Right. And well, that's like almost, a video game. Like that's not as bad to me because then it's like, oh, I think it's this person, I think it's that person. Right. You're kind of like the show wants you to think it could be any of them. Whereas yeah. in this in this case, you're not like if there's not really a mystery of Fallout, it's more just like I think there's just stuff that will happen. <laughs> well, she I, I, I feel know. like she's the kind of person that goes to an escape room and just finds the door and goes, "Got it, guys." And just walks out. <laughs> Well, we don't need to. No, that's a whole. No need. Those are we know, we know those kinds of people. Right. A sentencing. We need to punish her somehow. Um, she's not allowed. Whenever the you know what she the only Fallout game she's allowed to play is seventy six. Okay. She got she's got to play Fallout seventy six and and the next Fallout game when it comes out, Max plays it first and he's gonna tell her what happens. <laughs> I like that. I also like that she has to, um, you know, the next Fallout game that comes out, all of the hate mail for it and all the critiques and all of the, well, you should have done this, goes right to her and she has to answer mm. all of them. How, okay, sure, yeah. She's got to do the, yep. the, the the letters, responses. Yep. Okay, fair enough. Yep. Let us know what you think. How should she be punished? Should she be punished? Are you on, Maybe you're on her side, listener or viewer. Maybe you're one of those people who loves to talk about those things during the show. You can email us with your opinions, geeksontrial at gmail.com. If you're on YouTube, you can comment in the comments section. You can also submit your own geeky case. Do you have a dispute over a video game adaptation, comic book, stamp collection, serial killing, anything like that? Email us. We'll change our names to protect the innocent. We will settle it here on the show just like we did today. Our guarantee. We guarantee it. And you can help us out uh, by going to patreon.com slash geeks on trial for just a few bucks a month. It's five, actually. It's five bucks a month. Uh, there might be tax. Who knows? And you gain early access to this show. Plus, you gain a brand new show, a different show, a newer show, a different topic type of show called Geeks on Trial Sidebar, where the two of us take the robes off. We spin a wheel and we have a, a chit chat about a topic that the wheel tells us to talk about. That comes out twice a month over at patreon.com slash geeks on trial. It's a lot of fun. Support us over there if you if you can, uh, or at least just tell your friends, spread the love of the show. That makes us feel happy. Also, uh, if you don't want to pay some money, uh, rate us five star on the iTunes store and give us a thumbs up and like and subscribe in the YouTube world. Hey, Jonathan, where can people find you? Oh, Wow. Thanks for asking. You can follow me online. I'm on Blue Sky at Jonathan Estes. I'm, I also have a website. I'm It's JonathanEstes.com. It's my name. It's my name with a .com after it. Oh. And, you know, I've got stuff cooking over there. Videos, YouTubes, whatever. Mm-hmm. Go follow me. Podcast. Go check yeah. it out. How about you, Ivan? <laughs> oh, you can find me over at YouTube.com slash The Snack Guy, and that's where I uh, review, rate, eat snacks. And all that fun stuff like that. That's youtube.com slash the snack guy. Wow. Pretty well, cool. It is. Until next time, I'm Ivan Hahn. I'm John Lanestis, and there's another case that got closed. <laughs> <laughs>